Are you worried about more rain this weekend, possibly seeping into your basement? Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us the steps you should take right now to prevent any problems. But first, a popular Tri-State Bank's website goes down. What's going on, John? Well, Craig, customers of BB&T Bank in Northern Kentucky are complaining they've not been able to access their accounts since last night. Well, tonight the bank says it is fixing the problem and it says their website and app should be fully functioning by tomorrow morning. Some customers were unable to access their paychecks today. The bank blames a computer problem, not hacking. And the bank says you can access your money right now at an ATM if you can't get the site to work. Most tri-state homeowners made it through this wet week without any flooding, but your luck could run out this weekend because of another couple of inches of rain already falling on saturated ground. So we have word on what you can do now. Here in the East End, homeowners like William Sanders were rushing to empty basements before the river empties it for them. Gotten everything, you know, either raised it up or just taking it out. Been doing that for the last few days. Kenyatta Morris of KP Heating and Cooling was going a step further, removing the control panel and blower from a furnace just in case. A lot of water in there. Um, we have a sump pump in there right now as we're speaking to make sure that, you know, it doesn't raise too high. Most of us don't have to go that far, but another two inches of rain will still mean wet basements. Preparation is a smart move because here's the thing. If you think there's even a chance you may get some rainwater in your basement this weekend, you want to take some steps right now to minimize the damage. This one's down near Amelia, Pat. Okay. Here at ServPro Restoration Services in Roselawn, crews are preparing for a lot of calls this weekend. They list some steps you should take if you've ever had a wet basement before. Inspect now for dampness in corners and under windows. Roll up loose rugs and put them on a couch. Remove any cardboard boxes on the floor. If you don't thoroughly dry the materials, you will have mold growth. We have a high, high potential for mold growth in the greater Cincinnati area. Um, so it's really important that you remove everything that you can, dry it out thoroughly, and uh, let the professionals handle it properly. And finally, make sure your sump pump, if you have one, is working. And ServPro says if your basement's flooded before, you might want to lift up couches and furniture and place them on bricks, cinder blocks, or even rocks. Anything to keep them out of the water. On WCPR.com, before you shop the Toys R Us going out of business sale this weekend, read my report on whether you'll find deals or just duds so you don't waste your money. Craig? 